Hello. Hi. God, I can't do this, man. Fuck. Come here. This video will never happen again. This is an exception. This is not a good idea. I cannot. Today we're making something that is not gonna cement me being Chinese as a stereotype. Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao chicken is not gonna make today. By the way, this is not a joke. This is supposed to be real. This is real. We're making a legit, authentic Chinese Kung Pao chicken recipe. This is like the real. Truth. People always ask me, oh, where can I cook something Chinese? I'm like. All right. I'm not in this kitchen a lot. My wife cooks for me usually, not because I'm sexist, but because I believe in a woman's right yeah, to choose what she wants to cook. Light. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Let me tell you really quickly why cooking is a scam. I spent an hour looking for a recipe. I need another hour for buying the ingredients. I need half an hour to cook. I eat for 10 minutes. I clean up for 20 minutes. This is an equation that does not add up. Thank you. The ingredients, ish. The ingredients are definitely purchasable in any Asian supermarket. Where is the sink? Ah, yeah. This is pure wine. I always say like the toughest thing in Shaolin was the food because it's just so monotonous. I'm just a small fucking scratch. I need diversity in my food. There are very few things that I can eat every day. Kung Pao is one of them. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so where, um, uh, how, how does it, how, how does it, how, how does it? So the way it begins is... Chicken. Chicken breast, yeah? I always like to give it a quick taste test, yeah? Uh, is this supposed to look like here, like this <laughs> fucking I'm done. period here? Yep. Very key when you cook something is don't be afraid of things being sticky and stuff, yeah? <laughs> wow. When my hand gets sticky, it's no, no good, good, man. Are they like cooking gloves? In the shows, they always have the black gloves. I just touched the chicken again. Wow. <laughs> All right, this is a knife, yeah? In the cubes, Anton. Cubes? Yee! <laughs> chicken! <laughs> Okay. You always have to separate uh, yes. two. I make the cooking recept. So you have to separate where you cut the meat and where you cut the vegetables. Especially with chicken because chicken has a salmonella. I swear to God guys. I'm being honest like this is the only cooking video I will ever make. And I will never make another one. Like it's legit because this is like my favorite recipe of all time. What is this Alter? Anton, it's... Yee, guck mal! <laughs> oh god! Is this circumcised chicken? One person eats one and a half chicken breasts, yeah? By the way, some people are asking, what's my review for Star Wars Jedi Survivor? I think the game is a 7 out of 10. I think it's good. 7 is a good game. It's just overall, I think it's an incredibly boring game. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. All the way through playing it, I was just bored out of my fucking mind. Nothing about that game was interesting. Sorry. Okay, what- okay. Sophia, watch what you're filming. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what's this? Wash the knife after you cut the chicken, otherwise you get AIDS. Do you have the thing in there? This? Yeah. Is this not for the toilet? I'm done. Now it's important to marinate the chicken, yeah? We marinate the chicken with... With? You take the white pepper powder, half the spoon yeah. here, another half on the chicken. Boom. Then Sichuan pepper. Very important. Get that stuff, guys. Any Chinese supermarket's gonna have it. You need that shit. Don't add too much. It's a numbing type of pepper. It's not spicy at all. It's really important, okay? Half a spoon. I usually like to add more of it because I love Sichuan pepper. And then half of it here on the chicken. Next, we have chicken stock powder bouillon. One here and one here. And next up, we... Cornstarch. Okay, one and a half. This is really important, by the way. Later on, the chicken is nicely starched. Then? Uh, three. Three! Suck, suck, suck. Okay, Sophia, say it quietly so they have to think it's my recipe, yeah? Dark sauce. Sa dark soy sauce. Zui zuz. Oh, damn, the damn Chinese food. You put a little spritz. I'm gonna a bit of a spritz. By the way, MSG, please inform yourself on MSG. It's not a problem. MSG is great, okay? It's awesome. There's no harm in it. You can shove this shit up your ass in the suppository. Okay, so so how much? Golden One spoon. golden spoon in both. No. That was a joke. Only in the chicken. No. In this. <laughs> Yeah. Now sugar. Sugar darling! Oh. I put about a quarter. Two and a half spoons. Two and a half spoons is a quarter of ten spoons. Now for the next important step. So so far so good, yes, yeah, easy. This is two in Deutsch S in English. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> in ten, ten, ten. I pour it in the sauce. Mix it, mix it with don't mix it. Uh, water. Water. Wow. Like this? Yeah. Okay, now mix it, mix it well. So it has like this brownish coloration right now, yeah? You put this to the side because this comes later. Hey! So we only use the egg white. So what I always like to do is I like go one, two, three. On the egg white. Fuck. <laughs> 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 sticky. Now massage the chick. Now massage the, with, with my hands. <laughs> So before you do this, you just have to imagine that you're fingering Jabba the Hutt's asshole or something. Massage it well. You poke this for me every time like this? Yeah. 
Make sure that shit is nice and mixed right there, right? Look at my hand. This is me <laughs> when I. Now wash hands. Wow. In terms of other ingredients, it's actually quite simple. You only need spring uh, uh, onion, yeah, spring garlic, and then dried pepper. These are, by the way, not very spicy. You can get them like any Asian supermarket. And very important, absolutely key, peanuts. By the way, I have this thing when I touch garlic, I'm gonna smell my fingers all day. I don't know why. I'm gonna be walking around to it like this. <laughs> you people who are watching have to understand that this is legit like an amazing recipe. This is not entertainment. Cut it perpendicular to the North Pole. Cut the garlic in like large pieces. Not good fella style. This is fine. It's good. First of all, we remove this, yeah? You can still eat oh, a shit. lot of them. Yeah, whatever. I'm Chinese. We waste food. Once you taste this, you'll be like, what the fuck? You'll be like, holy shit. This is like the flavor of China. And also, just so you know, this dish that we're making, gumbao eating, is like everyone makes it differently. Every cook has their own way of doing it. You could even do this dish with like potatoes, with actual onion, aubergine. A lot of people add paprika, some people add cucumbers. You should use a wok, but we don't have that. Skrillex, yeah. Maximum heat. Oil, kind of deep fried, not really deep fried. You can do it in the pan. I really like this Italian TikToker. He's like, mm, the guanciale or the pecorino. <laughs> this is the sauce. Okay, it's a little too hot, man. Put every single piece with your hands on the fucking shit. Why? I have to wash my hands again. Yeah, I don't care. It's gonna spritz. My okay, <laughs> okay, fast, do it fast. Can I just pour it? Nine. So it's gonna be sticky. The pecorino cheese. Mm, the capricciosa. The sound. <laughs> Burn my finger! The oil burn my finger. Okay. Now we wait and then I mish it. Okay, mishing. Ah, ah. Okay, mish it from safe distance, yeah? No, you have to really use the Fuck. power. Oh my god, I'm done. Yeah, I you know. don't cook, okay? I was. Take this. It's gonna. It's gonna spritz! It's gonna spritz! Okay, Sophia, you do it, you do it. <laughs> so as you can see, I mished it well. We're putting them in the pan. What? what? I mish it, I mish it. It's spritzing on my hand, the oil. <laughs> How do you cook this every time? Is it, now, is it over, is it over? Nice. So far, so good. I'm doing a good job. And now we put the chicken into the white chisel. Don't even worry if it's not 100% completely done. Like, trust me, it's far from over because it's going back into the pie. We don't even have that iconic kumbao eating smell yet. It's gonna come. Don't worry, it's gonna come. I'm gonna come. Let's rest up. Let's leave the pan with the oil. Now we put the garlic and this. Yeah. Well, how, does, how, does, how does this shit work? How do you spend so much time in this kitchen and don't want to kill yourself? <laughs> we put in the garlic, garlic and we put in the two. The girl from Ipanema. Get the fragrance. Alright? Look at that. Mm. Get your sauce that you made before, yeah? Well, it's golden brown. Golden brown. Heroin! Forgive the defense that I should be mad What else did I did not, not review this year? Oh yeah, Atomic Heart. I thought it was great world building, beautiful en environmental design, but gameplay wise, an incredible letdown. I think the open world was designed horribly. But I can't go into more detail because I kind of forgot a lot of it. I wrote half of the review. I would give it like a 6 out of 10. I think it's okay. I think Atomic Heart is okay. Now that some of the garlic is getting brown, so now we put the chicken back, back in, in the pan. pan. I would love to cook this one day for Timothy Chalamet, honestly. By the way, really don't worry if it doesn't look nice yet. It'll all make sense in the end. Now, we add the sauce. And now, oh, you're not smelling this. This is the legit, authentic kumbao eating smell that's coming out, right? It's the tzu, the tzu. Mish it well, yeah, mish it well, mish it, mish it. Let it bubbly, bubbly. Now we take the spring onion and we dump the onion. Look at that, oh, it's nice and creamy. Mm. Oh, they're starting to smell good, man! Peanuts! Be generous, like a good handful of peanuts. The peanuts are absolutely key. Oh, you give that a good old mix right there. You give that a good old rub, yeah. Feel the smell, yeah? Bump off, ready to serve. Now look at that. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm telling you, this is really authentic gumbao eating. Then we get some sesame seeds. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. This is obviously supposed to be served with sticky rice. Didn't do that today. By the way, the chilies, you can remove them. You're not supposed to eat them, yeah? Just remove. The way you serve this, I recommend, is you take a cucumber and you slice it very thin, but long stripes, Chinese style. And you put that on the side. Eh? That's how I like to eat it. Do you wanna do it? Um, yeah. Cucumber, yeah? I'm done. I hate cucumber. In German food, cucumber is disgusting. In Chinese food, that shit's like bash, bro. Okay, now I will show you how Sophia does it. This is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, like this, like this. Hmm. Good. 
It's so good. This is Kung Pao chicken. Bang. Bang. style. Love it. All right. With that being said, I will never do such a video again. As you can see, I'm experienced master in, the, in this kitchen. I know where anything is. This is the dishwasher, as I've just wow. learned. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, because this is all I eat. Antonio. out. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh. I can't do this. I can't do this.